Hello everyone, I am Dibankar Amal, student of Mathava College. In this video, I will discuss about the application of green chemistry. In green chemistry, there are lot of approach in general. But today, I will discuss only two or three examples. So let's see that, see that example. Firstly, green chemistry is used because it using the safer chemicals and the end of reaction waste is not fair and we are synthesizing the molecule by using target based synthetic approach. So first example of green synthetic chemistry is preparation of uh, two cyano 3 phenyl acrylic acid uh, ethyl ester. Here I will tell every reaction in two type of method and then uh, we uh, consider which one is better. In the conventional method, we are taking benzyl alcohol and it is treated with this in the present of piperidine and toluene, we are getting this desired product. Now, in the green method, we replace uh, piperidine and toluene with the KSF which is act as a catalyst in this reaction and we are using water and water is a green solvent in the place of uh, toluene we are using water and we are synthesizing the same molecule here piperidine is toxic in nature this is not eco friendly and also effect in our skin and also toluene is not a eco friendly solvent if we compare these two solvent here water is better solvent this is why this green method is eco friendly approach for the synthesis of 2 cyano 3 phenyl acrylic acid ethyl ester and moreover the catalyst used in the green method is renewable and which is the principle of green chemistry okay so here this green method is more preferable than this conventional method now very very important synthesis that synthesis of adipic acid adipic acid is very important reagent which is used for synthesis of nylon and lubricants in the conventional method we are taking benzene it is treated with nickel al2o3 and it is changing into cyclohexane now cyclohexane is treated with this catalyst and it is changing into this uh, two product cyclohexanone and cyclohexanol now this two track with HNO2 nitrous acid again we are using acid and we are getting ADB acid so here problem occurs in this reaction firstly benzene benzene is carcinogenic in nature which is cancer causing as in secondly we are getting two products here first products is not used so waste is there and third thing is we are using HNO2 which is the acid and it is difficult to handle and it is not safe for environment as well as human health because it causes global warming that is why this method is regarded is in the green chemistry approach in the green method we used d glucose it is the renewable source so here in presence of E. coli and water is a solvent and it is changing into this 
right and again E. coli act as a catalyst and it is changing into C6 mucoonic acid now with help of uh, platinum H2 reduction is there two double bond is reduced and we get adipic acid okay this green method is more beneficial because here as a solvent water is used and here otherwise no chemical is used e coli this is a microorganism which is eco friendly of environment these all are the application of green chemistry okay so thank you thank you so much for watching my video